Fair rising on a Tuesday, 26. Did a reading a little late today at two something in the afternoon. All right, hopefully you guys are having a beautiful day. How y'all guys doing? I know I have been away, chilling, resting up, rejuvenating, clearing my energy. It's the same old, same old thing on their part. Um, I said, oh, I, I can't block that. Whatever. It, it, it can't, whatever. It's a certain way I have my phone set up. Hopefully, guys, are having a beautiful day. I know I've been away. Let me get back into the rhythm, the rhythm of the mood of reading these cards because I know what happened. Resting up, rejuvenating. Get some downloads, taking a break for a minute, and then come back and do these readings. Hopefully, y'all guys are doing the same. Now, nah, this is for a particular masculine. I had no idea. There's a particular masculine. Don't have to be a divine masculine. Um, that has a crush on someone secretly. And maybe this person or this female didn't know or the chemistry or the sex or whatever the case may be. Maybe the female didn't know. I don't know. This is what's a masculine. Switch words with your voice and name. Use your voice by switching your words around and using your name and platform. What? This could be significant. But anyway... I don't even know how to start this, 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 um, down that I got this morning. I'm like, oh, so it's him. So he's the one that's sending, there's a guy that's sending sexual energy towards a female. Um, but I don't think the female know that it's coming from this particular guy because there's too many, uh, People projecting towards this female, so she's it's not gonna be easy for her to pick it up. But I feel like she got it. There was no cheating in the situation. There was no cheating in a situation. How however the fell out, the fallout, the fallout was, the fallout was the drinking. Maybe this person saw a side this person it did not like. It was a red flag. I don't think this person is um this particular man. Um it was it it, it wasn't about cheating. That's not what I'm getting. Or at least I I I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe maybe I could be wrong. But in this situation it was a, it was a drinking. It was a drinking. The 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 guy, this person, masculine, um it's, it, 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 this person drinks and spats out and I don't remember shit. That's the type of person this person. This is this is the type of man. Um, and then again, if this man is inter interested in this woman, she's not gonna know. She got a lot of, you know, males and females that is hidden on this particular um particular um female and another thing is it's back and forth with the exes you know what i mean the ex going back and forth with the ex that's another thing um but cheating i don't think that's what it is i'm talking to a particular about a particular man it was the drinking it was the 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 drinking and the the the, the verbal abuse the whatever that comes out this man's mouth that's what it was drinking so let's get into the reading all right we got a trash box here let me get back into the rhythm because I, I took some time off so we got a trash box here and uh, hopefully you got guys gonna have a beautiful thanksgiving be thankful that you're here that you're still alive that you're doing well all right give the universe the ancestors the spirit uh, gratitude, gratification. All right, gratitude. All right, praise. A lot of people ain't making to this Thanksgiving. Okay, 
So something about this trash box. I don't know if this is a person who's talking trash or see this person as trash or a clown or whatever the case may be. All right. Why did I set twin flame on this on this other deck? Two of Cups. So somebody was definitely talking shit about maybe somebody was talking trash about someone's union or someone's person or someone's cup here. Okay, I don't know. Maybe they thought this person was trash or um I don't know, but something somebody was talking about a connection or a, or a person. You know, maybe they thought this person was a uh, uh, was a clown, or maybe they thought this person, you know, was a amount to nothing. Maybe they, I don't know what the fuck this is. Okay, excuse my language. I'm trying to slow down my cursing as well. I don't know what this is. Okay, I wasn't gonna do no reading today, but I said let me do some reading today. I really wasn't gonna do no reading. The same old, same old on, on the other. These people part, so they, it's the same old, same old thing. They ain't changed that one bit. Uh, to the pinnacles. So this could be some finances or resources. Or maybe this situation or relationship or union was going to bring some, you know, it's going to be longevity. It's going to bring some income, some, some stability here. But I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody was talking ish about this two of cups and and the possibility of this union or relationship or partnership will bring in some kind of funds and resources here. Okay. Give me money. Okay, but I feel like this is longevity, prosperity, or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Something that could be romantic. I don't know. Mutual, it could be something mutual, it could be pertaining to platonic or but pertaining to sex. Let's talk about and that's another thing. Whoever this man is, a five of pentacles here came out. Whoever this man is, let's confirmation. Whoever this man is, it was this person is projecting sexual energy towards someone's purpose, a person, a female. Like I said, I don't think this female look at this person like that or even thought like this this man where, you know, I don't know. It's something like you have the five of pentacles. Maybe this person is, is So, what I'm getting another story here. So, what I'm getting here is the relationship, whatever this relationship, it, it wasn't a mouse or anything. One minute, you're doing good with the Ten of Pentacles. The next minute, you're in the Five of Pentacles. So, it's up and down, up and down. But any relationship, it's going to be some ups and, ups and downs. So, it could be stabilized. And then, one minute, it's not stabilized. And another, another minute, it's stabilized. And then, one minute, it's not. It's up and down, up and down. So, one minute, it has money. Then, one minute, it loses money. Or or the money, once you get the money, it just goes to you. you, you don't have money. After that, like once you get it, it's all it's, it's just as quick as you get it. it it's as quick as it go, go goes away because you gotta pay bills or something like that. But somebody was already talking shit about or talking trash about this 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 this, this person or this situation. I don't know. Maybe it will work out. Maybe don't. But in every relationship, there's always gonna be some ups and ups and downs. Um, unless your finances stabilize, or maybe this person want this person to be unstable in a relationship, so that this individual will be supportive, or the backbone of the this 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 this, this, this situation. I don't know if this is abundantly and then then poverty, good luck and bad luck. Or I don't know what the hell it says. It's ups and down with the finances and the resources. So it's a little struggle here. King of Swords wants to come out. Let me get one more card. The Five of Swords. Somebody walked away. All right. This is walking to um walking away. This is going towards another um a calmer waters. I don't know. This is Aquarius or some shit like that. It don't matter what zodiac sign you are or this person is. It could be anybody. 
to so, so somebody was blindsided with the I don't know what it is blindsided the fact that it's an up and down relationship unless you're wealthy and financially stable where you want money is not an issue here you see what I'm saying uh, one minute is good one minute is not one minute is good one minute is not good all right but we do have the the um the six of our souls I already feel like maybe the money is is an issue I don't know. Maybe somebody was talking shit about, you know, the connection and the money financial. I don't know. This is walking away and walking towards something that's different, something that maybe in a relationship, maybe it's a child, maybe. I don't know. But this is, you know, walking away from something or someone. All right? That's what I'm getting. Now, let's see. What's from the romance? Romance? Um, Card or whatever however you say it. Let's see. I'm only doing five today. Um, let me use that. 1101 could be a significant number. You deserve love. You are lovable. So, whoever this is could be about love. Okay, somebody could be doing some love spells or rituals on you or, or shooting a bow and arrow towards your direction. Could be sexual as well, okay? Towards a, a specific individual here. I don't know. You see what I'm saying? So it's towards a specific uh, uh, a specific in, um, person. So you deserve love and you are lovable. This person wants to love on you. This person wants this person to know that, all right? So... And I'm hearing, don't give your love away. That's what I'm getting. So maybe it's sexual wise, maybe your body wise. I don't know. It says, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Because whatever this is, like I said in the beginning of my reading, somebody keep going back to their ex. And it's the same old routine, the same old cycle. You're going to get played, you're going to get cheated on. Or it's not enough chemistry, the sex is not the bomb, or the finance is not where it's supposed to be, or something like that. All right, so it's time to release your ex and move forward. Like, I ain't even thinking about no exes here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just living life. Living life. And I'm proud of my team, proud of my spiritual team, because they really came through. Uh, this last couple of months was really hard. And um, this, this death magic that they keep fucking playing on me, um, projected, you know, this pain, the flicked pain on me. And play it. See the same old thing, collective. This, this, this ain't nothing changed, but I did. But these people will never change. You see what I'm saying? And Carmen, you thought somebody was talking all about you. You thought you was, you know, somebody was crying about your man. And it come to find out you look stupid. Because nobody crying over your man. This could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. So some of you guys, you don't even know who this person is. You probably already met them. You probably already bumped into them. You probably already had some kind of relations with this person or something. All right. Um, it's, I'm, I'm getting soulmate. I'm not getting twin, even though the twin, the twin is up here. But you already, somebody, something been revealed about this person. I don't know. To you or to them is what I'm getting. So you already met this person. You have. This person feel like you could be the one to let go of it. Control issue. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Somebody's not letting go of the control issue. Somebody is definitely trying to control the situation. And it, and it, it is slanted. You see how it is, right? I believe it like that. So, they ain't trying to let go of the control issue. It's still, still some, some control situation. And it's not trying to let the, <laughs> you know, the situation unfold naturally. So it's some manipulation in the situation. You can't go against the vine. Retreat. Stick down. You can't go against the vine time and all. You can't control the outcome. You gotta let it. It just happened. You know what I mean? Somebody's trying to control it and, and, and make the situation go into their favor. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Healing family issue. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So maybe there's some parent, something with the parent or parent situation. Maybe your mother, father, whatever, son, daughter type of situation. And this could possibly lead to an engagement. It could possibly lead to a long-term long situation. I really feel like what this man did, he don't you don't play around in the relationship. Whoever I'm getting, it's not. A, it, it don't cheat. You don't got time for that. You know what I mean? But it got some, 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 some addiction it needs to work on. 
this could possibly lead to an engagement or something that's serious. And whoever this is, your ex knows that. Whoever this is, whoever this person is that's not releasing his ex, it knows that this, this situation or this relationship, this two of cups, can definitely, you know, lead to some kind of long-term relationship, long-term stability, um, some serious um, commitment here is what I'm getting, but um, could be potential, possible, potential, you see what I'm saying? So, collector, I don't know, could be. Could be, could be here, all right. We have the king of king of um ice king. So this to me is um what I'm getting here is is the king of swords. Is um like you know speaking their truth. I really feel like this person needs to speak up and speak their truth here. Okay. Um, but what I'm getting here is it says an evil but incomplete wizard obsessed with. A person. I'm not gonna say the kidnapping, but if it would, it would be. A, it, this person is obsessed. But what I'm getting here, this person could have like, is willing to uh, put in the work, sacrifice for this person. You know, for the one that it choose. Okay, put in the work. Um, this person could get hot and cold sometimes. It's what I'm getting. It could be a control freak. Yeah, see, let it go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is a control freak. So that's one thing that this man, you know, is a control freak. It likes to have, you know, be the dot man in a situation. Or it just likes things the way it is. And in order to to work this out in a situation, got to be, you know, I mean... You can't be too much of a control freak in a, in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that's, you know, I don't know how men think sometimes, but they always want to have that control in a situation. Or, uh, but if you're in, a, in a, a relationship, you know, you got some females that are like, you know, control freaks, but this man wants, you know, want to have that control in a situation, you know? Make it, make a commitment, you know what I mean? Opposition, the fuck not. Opposition, no. It might have a little entity attachment, but it's not what I'm getting. This pers person, I'm talking, not talking about like a, a spiritual entity. This could be a problem, because like I said, the control is a, is a form of control, okay? It could be like a, a entity attached to this person where it wants to dominate and control the situation, okay? I'm not saying, like, bad habits or spurry or, you know. It's just got a lot of... It, 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 that could be, you know, some kind of possess, possession or obsession or control. Could be like, in a, like a little a, a control freak. Could be like a some kind of control or some kind of attachment. You need to let go of that goddamn thing. I don't really think possess. But then again, yeah, obsession, obsess, and control freak is some kind of, yeah, ending. What the fuck? Let me get two, three more cards. I'm going to log off. But yeah, mm -hmm. the courthouse. So this people, this person could be dealing with some legal situation in and out of court, you know? Um, jail, maybe, or getting locked up. Now, what is this courthouse thing? I don't know. Maybe dealing with in and out of court, or in and out of jail, or in and out of, I don't know, man. Manipulation. Bliss. See what I'm talking about? What I said in the beginning of my reading. It could be doing some... What I say about that um shooting the the bow at, at a particular person. Um, it's cute though, but this person got a, a question. It might not even know it or obsession. And it could be through the manipulation, it could be manipulating this person. This person that this um who whatever this person has an admiration or you know, a crush on you secretly, but it's trying to manipulate this part. The, the, the crush. That's what this person is trying to do. This person is trying to manipulate the crush or manipulate, like I said, manipulation, control freak. All right? Control freak. 
here you go, trying to manipulate their crush or the person that they crush you on. Like, you see what I'm saying? Cut it out. You gotta figure it out. And it was a minute. I don't know why this, I don't know who the what 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 zodiac but what zodiac this person is, but cut it out. Because the, the this this person that this person is crushing on, it already knows. Stop it. Mature man. It could be a man. It don't have to be a mature man. It could be older person or older man involved in the situation. Or maybe could be helping this person out in the situation. Whatever the case that case may be. Alright. So there's there's a man involved. It could be older or it could be it's so it's very mature, very responsible, um, type of individual. But still that manipulation, mm -mm, I don't like that. But could be sending you some love towards you. It could be sending you some sexual energy towards you. It's really strong. But it's not just that. It's multiple other people that actually sending this person, this person who's, this person's crushed. There's a lot of people that sending this person, you know, energies and sexual energies and trying to manipulate the situation as well. So if you got a crush on somebody, other people's crushing on that person as well. They're not, he's not the only person. You see what I'm saying? Chakra. See what I'm talking about? You messing with the the sexual chakra. You messing with, trying to mess with the heart. I mean, everything. Stop it. Let it unfold naturally. It, even if it's not with this person or with this person. All right? Because you got to... What this is got a, a control situation and you're not manipulating anybody. Kind of figure it out. You know? They didn't even know what it, who it was, what it was. And you pull up and you like, you know, in this kind of mood here, it's masculine. You know what I mean? Which is cute though, but all that other shit manipulate. Yeah, whoever this is, you're messing with a high priest. Eventually this person's going to figure it out. This person will figure it out, okay? Because you're like the butter pecan or hollow, you know what I'm saying? You better cut it out. I'm not saying that because they're not obsessed, motherfucker. Um, it's cute that you got a crush, but is it more than a crush? Is it sexual? See what I'm saying? Because it could be just for sex. You know what I mean? And if you ain't showing her doing it, I don't know. Twin Flynn could be involved in this shit, too. Oh, you this person feel like you a twin, or this person feel like you you equal compatible, or you you this person or something like that. But guess what, twin? There's another motherfucker that's manipulating your person. It wants your person so bad, sexualized, and it's doing some things in the behind the scenes. You're not the only person that wants your twin. Yeah, flirt. See what I'm talking about? Expand your lighthearted energy to the others, and that's exactly what your twin is doing by exploring. Or, I, I well, the fuck? I don't know. It, listen, everybody ain't exploring, but it's, it's picking up some ideas where it's coming from. You know, that sexual energy is too strong. You know what I'm saying? It's strong. It's like you shooting a bow at, at the particular person, but it doesn't know where it's coming from or who it's coming from. It's not going to entertain that, but you know what I mean? So yeah, see, it's not going to entertain that. It's blocked. Access has been blocked because you're not serious. You want access and you want you want to get in and you're not being with really serious. You're not taking it to the whole other level. You're not spinning on this person, you know, whatever the case may be. But the access has been blocked. The twin has been blocked or whatever the case may be is access been blocked. No assets, been blocked. Can't even get to this person. Can't come around this person at all. You see what I'm saying? Or somebody blocking somebody. They blocking game is strong. Word, wow, this motherfucker, I don't want you around this person. You better not be giving my goodies up or like something. I don't know. Yeah, because whatever this is, this person's been looked at and been held in high honor. It could be you collector or this person could be looking at this individual as, as you know, as high honor. Like, you you a true soldier here, you know what I'm saying? You're not out there. You carry yourself in a, in a dignified manner. Could be masculine or feminine here. Yeah, bond. Somebody want to kidnap this person? That's where the king... I mean, somebody want to tie this motherfucker up. Could be sexual 
Oh, really like, nah. Let's keep this meeting nice. But that's what I'm getting like. You ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, somebody in their head thinking about this love offer, thinking about you, thinking about your heart, where your heart is going or something, or something like that. You're in this person's mind all the time. Every time I think of you, holding on to someone new. Don't make me lose my mind. So you could be making somebody lose their, their mind or something, or they that's what they want to do with this particular um person here. Collective. Motherfucker. And this person is willing to go the distance. This person knows this is going to go to a whole nother level. It's going to be longevity. Okay? Is what I'm getting. I don't think you out there playing around. You ain't out... They, somebody trying to steal you from the person. Or steal from you. Or your essence. That's why they being blocked. Because they're known to be stealing. Could be your money or stealing your time and energy or stealing you from your per or this person. So that's probably why I don't know. Or you know, trying to get into a relationship before whoever this other individual is towards your crush or towards your person. And this is what whoever this is is putting in the work. Rituals, ha! Huh? Rituals. You see, want to go on this path with this person? Rituals. Like I said, this person's putting in the work or whatever. Because it knows that this, this relationship or whatever this is, it's going to be longevity. You know what I'm saying? But it's a sex game because whoever this is, you got to equal to their sex. They, they, they're very sexual. They, they, their sex game is very high. So, you got to keep up with that type of, not just no, you know, explore or, or something. You got to like, they sex Game is high, you know, high, highly driven, okay? So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It could be your sex. I don't know. Something. But to keep the, you gotta, ain't no like one, two, three type thing. It's sex, sex, sex. You know what I mean? I don't know, baby. It's a sex. Maybe can't get out them thoughts. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, transition. So something comes to an end. Somebody try to put an end towards your forward movement, and they was doing rituals to put an end towards this person forward movement. It ain't no the physical death, no, but a physical death on someone's path. It could be you know their journey or you know their relationship. All right, yeah, because they're doing rituals here. All right, you know, using all kind of remedies is here. They're trying to put an in for you moving forward with someone new. Could be an ex, it could be somebody, somebody here. And, you know, yeah, they don't want you to move forward. They, I don't know, yeah. And then what I'm getting here because I, I felt the death rituals, they're trying to put it into your person so nobody could have you on it. You won't have no crush. So this person been dealing with a lot in the behind the scenes, uh, literally, doing rituals spells and black magic okay so they are doing that because they don't want this person to move forward okay without them I'm just move forward period all right collect this so this person is still dealing with death rituals death spells you know what I mean it's single sexy and successful see because they know that you're single se single sexy and successful you look good, smell good, and you successful. And you're not taking. You not you know what you know what I'm saying? Somebody trying to take you off the market here. What did I say? Look on the bottom of the deck. This is what they're trying to do. Death magic. I'm gonna end it like this. So yeah, you still single, you still sexy, you fine as hell, you handsome as hell, and you and you're successful without whoever this is. And I feel like somebody wanna be a part of that ride with you, that journey, but, excuse me, I had a past case. Somebody's dealing with some legal situation here, is what I'm getting, all right? It could be in and out of court, or so be dealing with some court situation, and they want to, I don't know what this entity, or this control, or this obsession over this person, twin, or over this person, this, this, this girl, or this girl, or with this guy. It could be either or. Flip the roles. How it fits. But it's most definitely some death magic being done. 
Okay. That's what I'm getting. So pay attention to that because the person doing dealing with a lot is dealing with death magic from it could be anybody, an ex, it could be twin, it could be any soulmate. But this is what they're dealing with, all right? They're trying to transition this person out of here to rituals and sayers and entities and you know what I mean? So because because your person's moving on and the person's not knowing where you know what I mean, it's blindsided. So like I said, because your person's moving on, it's focused on the world. It's focusing on itself. And here comes this person with the drama. But the drama is happening behind the scene. You understand that? You over here resting up in goddamn rejuvenating and shit. You see what I'm saying? Here comes this person with the bullshit, the drama. All right? This person loves drama. Loves drama. All right? You got to stand for that drama. Yeah. Somebody, some, something with the hard front and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person want to offer you. They want you broken up, battered, bruised, sent swords. Yeah, they're trying to end you, man, because they know it's over with them. It's, it, it's, it's no, you know what I mean? So, this person's dealing with a lie. Whoever this person question on is dealing with a lie because somebody just not let it go and somebody already know this part, this, this new thing or whatever this, 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 this pathway it's gonna lead to you know something more serious and they know somebody's out there crushing on somebody person okay learning forgiving and learning it says as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment see what i'm talking about so you already you know forgave you already reconciliation somebody want to come back and reconcile with you from your past see yeah mm -hmm. somebody from their past it could be an ex or somebody from their past is just not. They want to reconcile or something like that. But I've been looking at a lot of videos and it's telling me that anything and anybody from your past life, do not go back to it. Because not out of saying they're coming back to harm you, hurt you, play you, push you in the three swords, you know, broke it. Like, it's the same old ten swords. You're going to regret it. Okay? So, ain't no back and forth because, I mean, it should have never fucked with you or hurt you in the first place. It would have lost out, okay, collective? If they really care about you, then it should have never lo lost you in the first place. They should have never did you, you know, dirty or betrayed you in the first place. If they really cared about you, they should never let you, left you go, let you go in the first place. And if they really love you, they should never did you dirty in the first place, all right? So, that's their fault, okay? So, yeah, confusion and illusion, we we'll passed that, okay? We passed that. You healing. You're healing, okay? You could be a healer out there, okay? Yeah, you got, admire, you got somebody admiring you. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute because, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bliss. That's cute. But like I said to that mask thing in the beginning of my reading, it wasn't cheated. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm assuming if it was, but... I'm, you had a, a karmic masculine. Karmic masculine came out. So, yeah, you need to change that habit. It was the drinking. That it was toxic. It was toxic. It would. It, it, it could have lead to some domestic violence, or you know, just it was. It's the drinking that you don't remember what you say, don't remember what you do. You could shit. That's dangerous because you could hurt somebody real bad and not remember. What the fuck it is? That's what it was. I don't think it was shit. I hope not. It was. It was a uh, um, the alcohol. Somebody had a, 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 a habit, a bad habit of drinking and not, you know, smashing out. So that's a no no, right? Peace out, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Um, I'm gonna take a break again. I just wanna come in and see how the energy and the vibe is with the collective and have a happy, safe um holiday, Thanksgiving. If you celebrate that or not. Oh, uh, be safe out there. I might come back after the holidays to kick it with y'all one more game some more and they do a regular readings when I when once I get some certain things in the mail that I'm looking for, okay? So peace out y'all. Okay, have a good one.